Hello everybody, uh, you're here with Claro Beauty. Thank you very much for tuning in. You're with your host Claudia Lara. And so today is another episode of Fragrance. So today we're gonna continue with, I uh, have this discovery set that I ordered from uh, the house Miller Harris. And today's one of, uh, of their fragrances called uh, Coeur de Jardin. Coeur de Jardin. Coeur de Jardin. <laughs> Coeur de Jardin. De Jardin. Coeur de Jardin. Okay. So Coeur de Jardin by <laughs> Miller Hurries. I feel like a robot that gets stuck. Do, 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 do. Maybe that's what's happening. As technology increases, we're becoming more like it. Or the technology is becoming more like us. I don't know. Okay, it seems like I'm in one of those we are moved. <laughs> so, um, I just did a, a review of another fragrance from them that was citrusy. So I thought I would continue with that theme and do this other one that is citrusy and then I can tell in my mind which one I like best or what's contrasty about them and I'll let you know. So the other one that I just did was tea tonique. So we'll see how this compares. Um, so the first thing, uh, if you haven't been with me, of course, I go through a little bit of information about the fragrance and then I give you my thoughts. My experience of it is right here, right now. It will be first impressions, never smelled the fragrance before. And then uh, I'll tell you who I think is for and what for. And so let's begin. Today is one of those days, so excuse me because, I mean, you already can see. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be filming today. <laughs> Let me just finish this. Let's see how it goes. So maybe it's the effect of that last one, tea tonique, uh, that made me like this. So I tell you, the effect is uh, you get a little silly. <laughs> it seems like it. All right. It did say that it put you in a good mood and I am in a good mood. So maybe it is, maybe it is true. Let's see what effect this is. And you'll see it right here on camera because I kind of changed the mood with the fragrance. So, all right. Um, this fragrance was launched in 2015, same as the other one. Taupe knows, oh, it doesn't even say who the, um, who the performer is. That's interesting. All right, I guess we'll figure that out later. So the main accords of this one is Fruity, sweet, white floral, citrus, powdery, earthy, patchouli, woody, aquatic, and fresh. So far, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be more citrusy, but they say it's more fruity. Let's see. Also, white floral. I am loving it already. I mean, I guess if the name is Cor de Jardin, uh, I think Jardin is garden, at least in Spanish it is. Um, so, yes, floral. It had to be there. Now, woody, aquatic, and fresh. Wow, what a combination. So why don't we spray it and start feeling and experience it and seeing what this is about. But curiosity, they definitely open my curiosity. All right, I spray the fragrance, let's smell. Ooh, I like this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, I'm interested, I'm curious because usually well, it says most fragrances nowadays, at least the ones that were made in the last decade, they usually make them unisex, right? They say it's a fragrance for men and for women. Very rare, there's few that says who exactly is it for. This one they do describe is for women. And I'm surprised because when I smelled it, the first thing I was gonna say is I could see it in a man. <laughs> so go figure. Wow, so there's a couple of things that are happening. Ooh, a lot of things are happening actually. Uh, there is a clean soapy thing that happens at the end. And I guess that's the aquatic and fresh. There's this soap clean thing. And I think that's why I thought it could be for a male because you know, there's a lot of those fragrances that are very clean and soapy that uh, are very nice on a male, of course in a female too, but in a male, I don't know, I like them. They just smell clean and nice. This one has that, but then there has some flowery to it. 
but I wouldn't say feminine. I wouldn't say like gardenias. And uh, so let's go to the website and find out. Um, now, I have mentioned this in other videos about this house. I really, really like the way they put a phrase that describes the fragrance. And I have mentioned that I love how this house does it. There's some that nail it and some that don't, but this one, I think they've been awesome in uh, describing the fragrance. So let's read that phrase. The scent of a wall garden after a summer rain, dewy petals and fruits, which sparkles like champagne. I'm telling you, they're awesome in describing the fragrances. I agree. I wouldn't have thought of a wild garden after a summer rain. I wouldn't have thought of that. It's beautiful, Britain, and I totally see it. You know, if you're in a garden after it rains, you know how everything starts becoming alive. You know, the colors are more vibrant and you get different scents because of the rain. It could be the wet uh, earth, dirt, or the um, or the flowers and everything just starts becoming more beautiful with the sun shining, um, summer, rain, and I see it. I totally see it. I guess that is the flowery and, and look at my mood. I started opening up with it. I started refreshed from it. Um, very, very different of how I felt with the Titanic. And the Titanic, they describe it as a, you know, something that citrusy, that will optimistic, keep you going. I would not have said that at all because the tea is sort of mellow. This one though, I do feel uplifted. That's the word they use for the other one. No, I feel it for this one. Uplifting, optimistic. Uh, so I really like that feeling of this one. Now let's read a little bit what the head notes are. Bergamon, lemon, pear, peach. That is interesting. It's the same, the titonique was bergamot and lemon and then something else, which I don't remember. But as a, as a head note, this smells totally different. So very interesting that part. Uh, so going back to this one. So head notes, bergamot, lemon, pear, peach, heart notes, Turkish rose, jasmine, tuberose, and vanilla. No wonder, I love it. Because I love the rose, I love the jasmine, I love tuberose, and vanilla makes it sweet altogether, right? So I, no wonder I started opening up and being in a good mood because those usually do that for me. So, and lasting impression, oris, amber, musk, patchouli, and musk. Now, this is the interesting part. Usually fragrances that have amber, they feel very elegant to me. And I would not have described this one as elegant, present. I feel it more young and, and even though it's sophisticated, but I, I feel it more fun. Um, but I guess precisely for that, I guess is this elegance for younger all the way to me, because I will wear this. So very interesting. But it's not that elegance of a wiser, older woman that I have described in other videos. This is just fun and light and nice and refreshing. And so let me read a little bit of their uh, description here. It says, in the heart of an English garden in a typical British summer, the heat of the sun following a passing rainstorm, core of the jardine captures sparkling dew on petals lush fruit trees of pears and peaches and that evocative scent of petrichor on charmed ground after rain. The sun now high in the sky and the face of a cold champagne being poured sets the mood. Oh, well now they're introducing a little bit of romance. I mean, yes and no. <laughs> they're not mentioning there's a couple in a romance, right? But champagne, uh, I guess you can enjoy by yourself. To me, it just started being romantic. Even if you're by yourself, there's this romance with it. The fizz of a cold champagne being poor sets the mood. Woo. But if you uh, visualize everything they're describing in a garden, after the rain, with the breeze, with the champagne, I want to go there. <laughs> well, 
it is setting me in a very positive, optimistic mood. So the bewildering floral sea of jasmine and tuberose swirls around. Auris, moss, and patchouli create a subtle backdrop of fresh earth foliage, a yo-yo's, yo-yo's air of fruit and florals. I agree. It's just, you almost feel one bird in the whole garden as well. You know how birds are happy and flapping their, e their wings after a rain and they're just going from flower to flower. And I guess the, uh, the little scrolls, what is it called? Uh, ardillas, what do you call them? Um, oh, well, all the little animals gather out. I'm picturing the, the movie Bambi. <laughs> You know, the cartoon from Disney back on the day that everybody's coming out. Now I'm feeling like uh, <laughs> Snow White or Sleeping Beauty singing in the forest with the phantom running. And yeah, so totally, I feel like a princess like. So totally a winner, totally a winner. This house, I have love, love, love uh, this house of fragrance. Every fragrance I have smelled from them, this is the fourth one have been very unique, have a strong statement, um, have definitely allowed me to experience something with it. So that allows me to believe that there has been deepness and care on creating the actual fragrances. And there's also youth. So this seems new and, and going and modern and, uh, Oh my God, love it, love it, love it. I think this house, I guess that's why it's one of the best sellers. And I think it will be for generations to come because I think they're very in, um, in an elegant way, in a knowledgeable way. This is not just a new fragrance that you don't feel the depth of roots. This, um, no, you feel that there is wisdom, there is experience in creating this and yet there's the youngster in them. And um, yes, so I really like Cor de Jardin. Very, very lovely. I will wear this. I think, like I said, for me, I think it's for all ages. I can see a youngster wearing, I can see my age wearing, I can see an older woman wearing it, yes. It says it's for a woman, I guess because of the sweetness and the floral, but I could see a male wear a man wearing it too. Um, you know, in a more feminine sort of way and unique. You can wear it for the day, but it is strong enough that you could wear it for the night. Uh, it is strong enough that perhaps if you're wearing it every day, it might be too much and you need a rest from it. Uh, having said that, it's not on your face. It's not like if I'm talking to you, like I can forget it's there, but then it's there. <laughs> so uh, I don't think these fragrances have a big projection where it's just going, uh, but they're there, pronounced, um, but I can forget they're there and then I still feel it in my palette. Um, so very, very invigorating, nice fragrance. So I think that's as much as I'm going to say. Would I buy it? Um, not yet. Uh, in what way? I have other that I feel uh, I need more in my life, that have more fire per se, more coziness, uh, because this one is open, it's optimistic, it's a fresh new day, and I love having the sample. Perhaps I'm gonna keep working with them. This is first impressions, but I would recommend this fragrance. It's very, very lovely and optimistic. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do at this moment. Ring the bell in the right hand corner. Comment below. Thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.